The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Whatever adversity you have now may not be any part of your life at all in some number of years. You have to seize opportunities. And to do that, it means you have to get out of your living room, you have to get away from your computer, you have to get away from the television, and you have to be out in the world. I grew up in an unlikely place, I think, in New Haven, Indiana. I was the only child of a Filipino war bride. My father left when I was three, and my mother raised me, and I didn't see very much of him as I was growing up. I had a single mom who was from another culture who was very strict and very demanding and had set all of her life's hopes on me. So there was a lot of pressure. She used to ground me if I got Bs, uh, so I had to be a straight-A student. The most important values my mother instilled in me were a sense of excellence, that second best was not good enough, and perseverance, that if it wasn't good enough, you just kept at it and worked and worked until it was. My mother was sick frequently, and sometimes I stayed with friends for weeks at a time. It's not easy to shoulder adult responsibility when you're in high school. So one of the best things, if you're a young person and you have those burdens, is to look forward and say there will be a time when I can choose my life. I went to college in the same state where I grew up and I decided I wanted to go to Germany and study overseas. I told my mom, uh, who had health issues, and she begged me not to go. And I was very conflicted about it. In the end, she let me go. Um, and it was difficult because she died while I was overseas. I was a representative of my mother's desire to be an American and have an American success. I became, in a way, her success story. I am the first Filipino-American Article III judge. Being a judge is just the best job. I have an opportunity to serve the community, and I get to work with smart young people who I will have mentoring relationships with for as long as I live. One of the things I try to do is encourage women and try to help them deal with what I know are some of the challenges of trying to have a life and trying to have a career. <laughs> you just have to have faith in yourself that you can make a life that you want. There's a tendency when you're young to think that where you are is where you always will be. And there are so many adventures and new things that you'll have in your life. Even though it's hard when you're young, it's important to take the long perspective. You can make a completely different life for yourself. And it's important to remember that when things just seem too hard right now.